A week to, to go until the next fiscal year when local governments are required to have their budgets in place. And the winner is the Shelby County government, the Shelby County Commission, which passed a $1.6 billion budget this week after a marathon session. Just some highlights to show you really quick. It's a $1.6 billion budget, as I mentioned. There is no property tax increase, $427 million for school districts, all eight of them in Shelby County. Now there's eight now due to the new uh, University of Memphis School District. Uh, the sheriff will keep his filled positions as he really wanted to do, uh, yet employees will get their 6% raise which is what was going to be paid for by the unfilled positions. Mm -hmm. The problem is that raise won't start until January 1st instead of July 1st. Uh, the $30 million they found for the Regional One rebuild, which is just a drop in the bucket, but it keeps that going. Maybe they can start some demolition there. And $7.5 million for the schools for Memphis Shelby County Schools for maintenance of some of the more dilapidated buildings that need attention. So uh, who, who's the winner here? Chris, we'll talk to you. What do you well, it's, uh, it's not a... It's not a compromise unless everybody feels like they lost something. That, that, that has that feeling and, to it. Mm -hmm. um, look, I think this is this looks good. I mean, uh, all things being equal, uh, money, good money for schools, money for the men, no tax increase. I know there was a dispute between the sheriff and and, and the mayor slash commission, and we are keeping those positions, which we need to fill. By the way, the, the point is to fill them. Um, but I, I think this is this is good. This is good. Otis, your oh, I couldn't agree more, and we do agree on this. Uh, I think this is a textbook example of good government uh, when you've got so many disparate interests here, uh, and they came together, even though it was a marathon meeting that went to like 1.30 in the morning, <laughs> they got it done. Uh, and so uh, the taxpayers should be happy about this. Um, I know that uh, Erica Sugarman was floating a tax increase that was voted down. Uh, so everything that they did, even though it wasn't perfect for everybody, it was good government. It was our county commission doing what they were supposed to do. Reverend Whalem is our former school board member. Let me move on to the Memphis Shelby County School budget. Uh, we still don't have a settled on budget there. Uh, the outlines of one, I will say, but uh, notices are still going out for those uh, central office positions that they want to eliminate, uh, despite the resolution from the school board that the that this plan be halted for a while. Uh, so she's still working toward eliminating those 1,100 positions. Uh, it's rare that it's taken this long for the school system to come up with a budget. And there's some criticism being uh, you know, uh, thrown toward uh, Dr. Fagans over just the, the lack of coherency and organization in how this has been handled. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that Superintendent Fagans deserves no blame whatsoever right now my thoughts are that had the school board done their job two years ago and selected a superintendent, there would have been two years to massage the message uh, that everybody seems to be so up in arms about. Richard, everybody knows, including everybody at central office, everybody knows that central office is overstaffed, that there are too many administrators at central office. Richard, Otis, Chris, there are 552 vacant teaching positions in the schools, which is where we need to be focusing in order to reverse the decline of our community. I am willing to give Dr. Fagan's complete autonomy at least for a year to see if her moves are yielding any positive results. What about you two? I'm not sure that I want to give her complete autonomy. I mean, she is well, the... She kind of taken complete autonomy. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, right. She just pulled it away from the school board. The school board is the elected body here. So they have to have some say-so into the, into the process. Uh, and I don't disagree with Ken to a great degree that uh, the school board dragged its feet and didn't put somebody in that office soon enough. Uh, but um, I, let's, let's do it the right way. I think they are starting to do it the right way. There was some communication problems uh, after she took uh, the job. You know, the human uh, resources person left, the legal counsel left, uh, and, but now look like they're trying to right the ship and I hope they do. She has apologized for the communication exactly. gaps. And exactly. so we'll see what happens moving forward. I've got to move on to the city budget because we're getting tight on time. Uh, that There's a lot of big, un a lot of unknowns with the city budget, including how much of a property tax increase, will there be a property tax increase? How do you think this is going down in the, in the final hours? I was encouraged to see uh, discussions of uh, cuts rather than property tax increases. I, I think that would be um, 
regrettable, and I understand that Mayor Young has certain goals, and they're very laudable goals, and they require money. Uh, but I think we got to start with the cuts first. I think this budget is almost 100 million more than than last year's budget. So I was really heartened to see Councilman Carlisle's proposal. I, I think we're going to get there, and maybe you start with this big audacious goal like Mayor Young set, which again I applaud. But I'm hoping we're going to wind up with no tax increase. I'm hearing that's not going to be the case. I, I am too. As a matter of fact, we had two city council people at our meeting the other night in Whitehaven, and they sort of indicated that there probably would be. It wouldn't. It's not going to be as much as uh, the mayor cents. would, but uh, it's probably going to be some. Okay, we're over, Reverend Whalen, but I want you to have the last word on the city budget. There's going to be a tax increase, not as much as Mayor Young is asking for, but I say let's give. Elon Musk, everything he wants, give Blue Oval City everything they want, and keep praying that the Lord brings a financial miracle on Memphis, Tennessee. I love it. Okay, we'll talk about Elon <laughs> Musk and Blue Oval City right after this. <laughs>